Hi everyone, welcome back to uh, another Smug Mug Live, a very special one today. Thank you for joining us wherever you are in the world. You're very welcome here to our live stream. We are streaming to many channels today, so bear with us with lots of technology. I think we've got five streams going out today. That's because this one is a joint live stream between Smug Mug Flickr and This Week in Photo. Um, as hopefully many of you have seen the announcements this week that uh, This Week in Photo has joined us here under the, the Smug Mug umbrella and of course the wonderful Frederick Van Johnson has joined us today as well. So let's see if Frederick's there. Hi Frederick, how are you doing? I am good. Hey everybody, thanks for joining the stream. Hey Alistair, how's it going over there? It is going great. This is uh, crossing the streams. It is. It is. I got to tell you, man, it feels weird to be on this side of the kind of interviewing mechanism, but I'm going to get used to it. I'm going to try yeah. to try to go with it. Well, I guess now we're kind of officially co-hosts, right? Because uh, yeah. TWIP is now part of, of Smug Mug, which is very exciting. So we thought we would live stream today, both of us, so that we could... Uh, let the world know what's happening, um, you know, what's what's going down, uh, what the future might hold, and also uh, even to let people ask some questions here. So if you're watching live today, whether it's on YouTube or Facebook, then feel free to ask some questions while, um, while Frederick's having a little chat with you. I'll keep an eye on the, the live chat as well and maybe bring some questions up as and when they make sense. So yeah, it's been a, a very exciting... Um, year so far uh but certainly the last few days as we've went live with the announcement uh it's it's been very very busy so many people will have been watching smug mug live those of you who are joining on either the smug mug channels or indeed the Flickr channels will be familiar with me uh presenting shows like critique shows and um you know information shows about our products that type of thing and of course having special guests on the show but for those who perhaps are not familiar with TWIP and Frederick Van Johnson, Frederick, why don't you give us a little uh, synopsis of the last many, many years? Okay, well, let's go back several decades, shall we? <laughs> no, I'll keep, I'll, I'll keep it short and succinct. Um, yeah, this is great, Alistair. Thanks, thanks for, for having me on Smug Mug Live to talk about this stuff. And I'm going to put you on the shot on, on the spot here. You're going to have to come on this week in photo so that we can continue this conversation Absolutely. when I can control the cut, the, the buttons. Over there. <laughs> uh, yeah. So if you haven't heard of this week in photo, TWIP, also known as TWIP, TWIP is a, well, it started as a podcast way back in the day and evolved over time into you know, just to kind of condense it down, it started as a podcast and then it went video and then Google launched this Hangouts thing. And we're like, why don't we just do it on Hangouts? And then Hangouts didn't work out. And then, so there's a bunch of evolutions in it, but the gist of TWIP has always remained the same of, and that's the, the sort of the drive to have meaningful sort of peer to peer kind of, or peer to peer toned conversations with ph photographers from the beginner all the way through to established and celebrity pros, but the same kind of conversation with kind of the idea that we're all the same. We're all photographers. We're just on different parts of the road, you know, in terms of getting to the, the ultimate journey that we're trying to get to. So, yeah, so I started as that, and that's what I do each and every week. I release an episode that where I have a conversation with a photographer and we just sit down just like this and have a, have a, conversation. What I tell the guests before I start the shows, before we start recording is, you know, sort of think of this as we're just two friends and we're sitting in a bar or Starbucks or something and we're just talking about photography. That's the tone. It's not a it's not an interrogation. It's a conversation. And that seems to resonate with people. So there's the podcast and then there's the community. I see a lot of our community members in the in the chat here, everybody. Um, and the, the community is a vibrant community of photographers that is designed from the start to be kind of like, and I use this analogy a lot, it's designed to be kind of like the, the airport lounge of photography, right? So you go into like a big airport like LAX or SFO or LaGuardia or something, and there's all these people at the gate, you know, doing things, babies crying, noise, uncomfortable and all that. And then there's that door over there for for members, you know, of whatever <laughs> airline club. 
that's TWIP. You go behind that door and suddenly there's hot towels and snacks and, you know, Wi-Fi and all this good stuff. So TWIP is designed to kind of be that respite of from the that normal photography community trollish kind of atmosphere. And I think I think we've succeeded, succeeded in that. It's a it's a pleasure to kind of hang out in there and have conversations and share work. We do photo critiques weekly in there. We do a member mixer every Friday where all the folks or a lot of the folks come in and just hang out and shoot the breeze occasionally about photography. But uh, yeah, it's fun. We've also got courses, it's a ton of stuff. So all that now is part of the Smug Mug and Flickr organization. So like we said in the, all of the teasers, the trifecta of Smug Mug, Flickr, and now TWIP in that mix. And Alistair and I will talk about what that means, but that's, that's kind of where it has come to. And one of the reasons, we'll talk about the, you know, the big reasons behind it, but one of the main reasons for me was I, I just wanted to do, I have a lot of big plans. Like my dad used to say, you've got, uh, you've got, uh, beer money and champagne taste, right? <laughs> so, <laughs> so in order for me to get to that level where I could exercise the champagne taste, I needed I needed a, an amazing partner and Smug Mug was that partner. So, and here we are today, kind of talking about it. So that means on the shows now we get to drink champagne instead of beer. That's that's, that's a win-win. Yeah. Well, like... <laughs> what do you think is in this mug here, man? Come on. <laughs> well, cheers. I'm like, I'm still on the whiskey, but now, no, I'm exactly. joking. Exactly. Um, yeah, I'm just looking at the chat window. There are so many, so many great friends, both from Smug Mug and Flickr audiences, and of course the the Twip audiences. Um, so yeah, it's great to see folks in here. Hilmar says hello. Hi, Hilmar. Hilmar. Love you dearly. Hey. We miss catching up with you. Um, Troy's here. Spicy Jello. Wood wood. Spicy Troy buddy? Miller. Um, yeah. Let's see who else I can find. There's there's a lot of chat here. So David Grover's in. Hi, David. Good to see you, David, David Grover. From Capture One. Good to see you. Yes. Uh, who else is joining? Well, let's see. Jefferson Graham's in the house. Hi, Jefferson. Good yeah. to see you What's on up? there. Uh, lots of long-term uh, viewers of Smug Mug Live, which is great to see you all in there. Thank you, everybody, for joining today. So um, great. Continue that chat in there. I can actually see them all chatting amongst themselves, which is always lovely to see. So continue That's to great. chat. If you have any questions for myself or Frederick, during the show, uh, post them in the comments, but start your comment with the word question. That way I can find that a little bit easier um, in the chat window if it has the word question at the start. Um, so what's um, what's really quite interesting is um, I have been doing Smug Mug Live for the last, what, two and a half years, I guess. It was a kind of COVID baby um, as we were as we were stuck uh, stuck indoors. That was when I started live streaming and um, had lots of inspiration for the live stream, TWIP being one of those inspirations. Um, although you're, you're not, you're typically a recorded podcast, but certainly the, the approach that you took um, and that conversational type approach is something that um, I certainly brought to Smug Mug Live. Uh, David Grover's in the house, who was a huge help, a uh, great live streamer himself with the work that he does yeah. at Capture One. Um, so here we are two and a half years later and, you know, TWIP is now within the organization. It's kind of gone full circle. So that's kind of cool. And I'm, I'm really yeah. excited to see what damage you and I can do <laughs> uh, in, <laughs> in the years going forward uh, and seeing what we might yeah. uh, develop and, um, do with the shows, but TWIP is something I've been watching for, gosh, yeah, what's it, like 15 years, maybe, maybe even more? Since you were a baby, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. Since, just since I could start talking, you know, so, um, <laughs> but before TWIP, you were, like me, before doing the careers that we're in now, you were a photographer um, full-time as well, why don't you tell us a little bit about the photography that you captured, because I know for a fact it's incredible photography and incredible story. For those that don't know, where did your photographic career start? Yeah, I started way back when. So I started my sort of professional career. So I've been in photography or in one way or another since 1989. And that's when I went into the U.S. Air Force um, as a, at the time, I went in as a photographer, a base photographer. And what what base level photographers do, or at least did back then, I'm not sure what their mission is now, but was to support the base. So you are essentially well, an Air Force base or a military base is like a small self-contained, self-sufficient city. 
right? With its own PR, with, you know, all the bad things and good things that go along with being a city. And our organization was charged with photographing all that stuff, whether it was sports uh, portraits, you know, like for officers for, you know, to hang on the wall or generals and all that stuff or events or even uh, forensic photography. The first the first thing I did, one of the first jobs I did, you know, I later learned was hazing was uh, shoot an <laughs> autopsy. <laughs> I was like brand new Johnson, right? Brand new, showed up on the base, just got my Nikon kit. And they're like, oh, there's a job for you over there. Go over there and report to this person and do what they tell you to do. So I go over there and it's the base hospital, of course, down in the morgue. And there we are with me, with my shaky hands, taking photos <laughs> of them doing their thing on a recently uh, deceased person. So so everything from that to hoarders and base housing, all this stuff, I got a chance to do that for several years uh, on film, usually slide film. So very little margin for error. None of this shoot and chimp, shoot and chimp. It was you got to get it right within a third of a stop back then. So that was the beginning. So I, I was in the U.S. Air Force as starting as a base photographer, then all the way, all the way transitioned to a photojournalist, I guess. I guess as you get older and you do more things, you, uh, you move into that area. So I left, the, I left as a combat photojournalist from the military, shooting a variety of things, everything from you know, aircraft to aircraft things to rocket launches at Vandenberg Air Force Base, shooting them from helicopters, watching them explode on occasion, all these things I got to do. And it, you know, back in the day, it was like, oh man, it's a pain in the butt. I got to get up at 2 a.m. to shoot this stupid Titan launch you know, from <laughs> Vandenberg. In retrospect, what an honor, right? What an yeah. honor to be hanging out of a UH-1 helicopter with a camera in the middle of the night shooting this ball of flame that's going up to throw some satellites in orbit. So, yeah. Yeah. Crazy. So that was that was the beginning. That was the beginning. And then, you know, transitioning over into uh, into corporate America after that, you know, I was stationed at Vandenberg and it was basically at the end of my second tour. And I was like, well, I got to make the decision. Am I going to stay in the Air Force? Because after that second tour would have put me past the halfway mark to retirement. Right. So do I stay in? Or do I get out? And this, to age myself, this was when the dot-com explosion was just starting. And this little company called Yahoo was like 50 people or something like that. And so I decided to roll the dice and become a civilian and see if I couldn't translate my kind of you know visual communication skills into the civilian world, which is what I did. And here we are. So yeah, I came to Silicon Valley, started started at the San Jose Mercury News. If you're in the Bay Area, you know that company, that newspaper, the San Jose Mercury News, and then Yahoo, and then Adobe, then Apple, and you know, then here we are. You know, so started Twip after that, grew it over a decade or so, and now the next chapter in that book is Smug Mug and Flickr. And here we are. Fantastic. Well, before we get into that chapter well, let's look at a few of these comments that are coming in here a few other familiar faces in there kevin larue's in the house hey kevin been a while since we spoke hope you're doing good buddy um, larue kevin larue um <laughs> yeah. the girl who left the fridge door open says discovered the twip flicker group a month or two ago and found some great images submitted hope there will be more engagement than ever before i'm sure there's yeah. going to be Lots of fun things happening on the Twip Flickr group. So if you're on Flickr, head over there and check out that group for sure. Um, let's see. Uh, Alexander says, Twip is the best thing to listen on podcast while walking around with the camera in hand. Great comment. Cool. Yeah, listening I'll have while, to try that. Listening while <laughs> shooting. That's pretty cool. Um, yeah. So yeah, there's a few other questions. I'll come to them in a little moment. But oh, there's, there's here's one. Was it an alien autopsy? There you go. <laughs> I La Dunarina. Hey, I know. Yeah, no. Uh, La Dunarina is right around the corner from you, I think, somewhere in Scotland. Ah, um, yeah. Um, he can't you, see. No, if, it even if it was, he wouldn't be able to tell us, right? <laughs> no. Well, the 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 story they told me to tell you, if anyone ever asked that question, was no. It was it was a Homo sapien that I was taking photos of. <laughs> cool. L listen, I've got um, I got a few surprises for you today, Frederick. Yeah. So before we talk a little bit more about um, Twip coming into the Smug Mug family, uh, I got some messages for you, buddy. So 
Check, check this out. Hi, it's David Grover here from Capture One. I just wanted to offer my congratulations both to Frederick and Smug Mug. Been a big fan for a long time of This Week in Photo podcast, uh, Frederick himself and also Smug Mug. So it's great news, good for the community, good for the photo industry, and I look forward to seeing more. So cheers, guys, and see you soon. That's awesome. David Grover, I'm a big David fan. Grover. That's Thank like, you, David. You know, Thank you for that message. Thank you, David. Um, Appreciate it. And David, you got to come on my show again. We got to talk about this uh, this mobile thing you guys are working on. Yeah, <laughs> so. D- D- David's been on Smug Mug Live uh, a couple of times, I think, over the, over the years, giving us an insight into all the, the cool new things that happen over at Capture One. So um, I'm sure they'll be talking about all the new things. And he'd love to be on the shows again, I'm sure. Um, and yeah. I've got a few of these messages for you. So Uh-oh. let's 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 roll another one just now. Congratulations to Frederick and Smug Mug, to the entire photography industry as a whole. This is a fantastic move. So proud for you all. I can't wait for everything wonderful coming up soon. Much love. Peace. See you guys soon. The Aaron wonderful Nace, Aaron Flair. Yes. Flair. Flair Another is... one of my heroes. Another one of my oh heroes. My I've been following Aaron from since the beginning of time. Since he did his, way back in the day, Aaron did this uh this 360 365 series where he did a photo of himself every day uh for a year you know kind of to build his photos and he did composites of each one of those shots mm-hmm. of him it wasn't just like a selfie it was a full-on composited piece of art- artwork of him and he did that every every day that was a big inspiration for me i love yeah, it Thank you. aaron is definitely one of the true heroes of the the photo industry the the amount of free education that man has given to the world is is incredible and those thousands yeah thousands of hours and those of us that use photoshop are always better users for the fact that Aaron Nace is in the world it really is uh, a wonderful wonderful um, resource so go check out Flairn if you haven't done that so far um thanks Aaron Grover says always happy to come on to both shows yeah he likes to get around that boy we need to we need to be on your show. That's that's we need to be on find a reason to be on the capture one live stream for some reason. Yeah, um, so yeah, there's there's other questions. I'm going to keep them back for a little bit, uh, just so that we can uh, pad the sure. show out a little bit. But um, so Q and A. Yeah, tell us. Uh, well, let me give you a little insight into why Smug Mug was interested in crossing the streams and join, you know, having tw- join us, uh, within the brands of, of Smug Mug. Uh, you know, so we have the three brands now, Smug Mug, Flickr and Twip, the trifecta. Um, you know, one of the, or the main reason, um, that, you know, we're, we do what we want to do. One of our missions is really to, you know, build a better world through, you know, the power of photography. And that can be by, building wonderful tools for our customers to allow them to share and store their images, uh, but also by inspiring our audience. It's why we do things like Smug Mug Films. I'm sure many of you have seen Smug Mug Films where we make these great films that showcase the, the, the lives of some of the best photographers in the world and really hope that we can motivate and inspire photographers around the world. Um, we can build a better world through the power of photography by the work we do to create connections and community within photography. So within the, the Flickr communities, which is, you know, Flickr is a community of communities. So there are so many different people in my life who I know through the connections we made on Flickr. Um, and all of us are sharing images. All of us are telling stories through those images. But the only way we can really have impact and grow through those stories if is if people share with if you can share them people see them and you can be connected with those stories and we were always interested in the world of podcasting and, and live streaming it's why we've been uh, experimenting it with it in some ways with smug mug live and uh, the photography lounge so um it just seemed a natural fit when talking with with um frederick and his um, you know, thoughts about the future of TWIP to, um, as I say, cross the streams and see if we can build that better uh, world through the power of photography together. 
uh, reach much bigger audiences, do cooler and better things, inspire more photographers. Um, and that, for us, was really the reason why we got together with this guy. Um, yeah. So yeah, yeah, that's that's really the the impetus behind what what we did. But maybe you can tell a, a f you know maybe tell the story of why you were looking to to you know change the future of TWIP and see where it might go. Yeah. No. Absolutely. Yeah. It was it it was a, a mixture of different things, right? And uh, everything from. Oh, let's rewind back, right? So in the beginning of the the pandemic, you know, we're rewind back to like 2019-ish or so. I think that's when everything, COVID-19, right? So when COVID-19 kind of showed up, there's a lot of things that happened. And not a, professionally, not much changed for me, right? Because I was already remote doing my thing from this very office right, right. here. But some of the things that happened that pushed me along towards where we are now were... You know, I had three deaths in my family over mm. the three years, right? And the constant that I heard from each one of them, one of them was my dad, one was my daughter-in-law, and one was my sister, right? So one of the constants that I heard from each one of them kind of in their last days was regret about not having done the things that they thought they had more time to do, right? That cliche. So, you know, and it was like a brick being being hit over the head with a brick three times. Like, are you happy with what you're doing? Is this the best you could do? Are you going to be kind of stuck in this eddy for the next decade until you're telling somebody that, you know, I wish I had done all this other stuff. So I had to take a step back and kind of assess where I wanted to be and what I wanted TWIP to be and what I wanted, what I wanted my professional sort of world to look like and my personal world? What did I want to do that was serving to me and the people around me so that I could not be in that position of checking out and regretting not having done things? And one of those things was TWIP. You know, like I said over in the beginning, I started TWIP or when, when, when TWIP started, it was this uh, more of a hobby kind of thing, even when I was just guesting on the show. It was just, you know, it was like a thing that I did when I had time to do it. Then when I took over the show and changed it into This Week in Photo, it became, okay, let's make this this thing in, let's, you know, more of an experiment. Let's see if I can't take this thing and make it into a real, a real business, a real media property. And that's what, that's the North Star that I was guiding towards over these past several years, decade or so. The, but the the change was, OK, now you've built these processes, you can do these interviews. I think I can do them OK now. I know how to post. I can edit. I can you know do all the things I need to do. Um, and I still enjoy having these conversations, but it, it's felt very programmatic and routine. So after all that drama happened, I got to the point where, you know, I had to make a decision. What was I going to kind of do a control alt delete on twip and just start it fresh again with a new brand kind of do the the kfc treatment you know from kentucky fried chicken and just redo everything you know and just change the focus of the show change everything about the show to make it more exciting so that i would feel more compelled to keep doing it um let it stay as is which wasn't really an option or uh partner with uh, with someone that could help me realize these grandiose kind of uh, blueprint plans that I have in the drawer here. Right? Who can I who can I partner with to make all this stuff and bring it into fruition to help photographers and, you know, help build a better world through the power of photography? How can I what what are the mechanisms and what are the 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 partners that or partner that I need to make that happen? That was one choice, partner with somebody. And then the other, the last one was just to shut it down, you know, just shut it down. I'm not going to do it anymore. I'm done with podcasting. I'm going to go out and shoot and travel and, and have a good time, you know, and be with the family and just do those things. Um, and that didn't sound, you know, being with the family, of course, sounds appealing and traveling sounds appealing, but shutting TWIP down felt like I, you know, it's flushing the last decade or so down the toilet. And that's not me. I still got, you know, a couple of decades of podcasting and work and photography and such still left in me. So um, started the conversation with Smug Mug, we went to lunch and had that, you know, I kind of told him this very story, almost verbatim, told him that story. And we had several conversations and that led to where we are today, which is the ideal scenario of 
TWIP remaining autonomous for the most part, right? And but still working with two major brands in the photography industry and being able to work with their, you know, not only the infrastructure, meaning, you know, the the hosting and all that stuff, which is amazing, but just like being able to bounce ideas off of other smart people that are as passionate about photography as I am on a daily basis, right? And then also the reach, right? Being able to expand the reach of this new version of TWIP that we're cooking up and reach an audience that is much larger than I could have ever reached on my own, given the time that I have to, you know, to build that audience. So it just made sense from all directions and I couldn't be happier, right? It's, Fantastic. I think the... I always um, I always look at myself even even within the TWIP community. For a time, I had my my little descriptor under my name. You know, in TWIP in the TWIP community, it shows your name and then kind of your genre, whatever you want to put underneath there. Some people put landscape photographer. Some people put whatever. For a time, I had custodian in there mm -hmm. because that's kind of what I feel like I am. I don't feel like I am the boss. I am the dictator of this place. I am I am like the the high school uh, lunchroom custodian that's overhearing <laughs> conversations and pipes in every now and then and goes back to sweeping up. <laughs> so, but, you know, I, I'm a peer in the community is the is the takeaway from that. I don't I don't see myself as, a, you know, someone who's the boss, CEO, blah, 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 whatever. I'm just another person in the group that's chiming in. I happen to be the one that has the keys to make everything work. And the, the fall guy, if things don't work, that's me. You can point fingers. But in the end, I'm just another person in there hanging out. So and even that gets transplanted over into the smug mug world, which is amazing. Smug Mug and Flickr, no community like no one else on the planet. And now I get to benefit from that knowledge and that reach and all that. So it's just amazing from from all facets of the equation. That's cool. Thank you for being so open uh, and honest with that. I know it's been a difficult few years for you personally with with the losses that you have. And, you know, we know that story, but, you know, it's great that you're able to share that with the community and, and let them uh, know some of the history of what's been happening over the, the last few years. Um, and we're really excited to have the brand alongside Smug Mug and Flickr. Um, like we did with Flickr, you know, we, we acquired Flickr, but left it as, as its own, its own brand. We didn't, we didn't merge it in with, with Smug Mug, which some people thought we would do. Uh, and we'll do the same with Twip. Twip will, will still run as, as Twip, but you know, have yeah. the have the power of, of Smug Mug behind it and, you know, the the team that we have here. And I, c I can assure those of you watching today that Frederick and I, we have been talking nonstop about the possibilities and I don't, there's no way we can execute on them all because some of the things that we'd love to do together is, you know, there's there's a list as, as long as our arm uh, of things that we could yeah. we could do, but, you know, stay tuned for, for some fun things ahead. Um, and speaking of some fun things, uh, why don't we see who else has left you a message today? Oh, no. <laughs> Hi, Joe McNally, and congratulations go out from our studio to Frederick Van Johnson. Uh, this Week in Photography has been a great resource for many years for all photographers. Wonderful interviews and information constantly on TWIP. And now it's set to go larger, go bigger, and, and be acquired by Smug Mug and broadcast from there. So congratulations to Frederick. All the best and continue to look forward to your podcast. My That's goodness. just crazy. There's a man That is just who... crazy has forgotten more about photography than I will ever be able to to learn. So great to have yeah. Joe leave a, uh, a nice little message for us. What an influence, man. I remember reading Joe's books way, way back in the day. I remember a lot of the folks in the audience will remember Joe was like the, well, he still is, but I remember back then he was waving the flag for SB speed lights, mm. right? I remember he did this tutorial. I think it was lighting a jet or something. <laughs> with a bunch of speed lights, you know, yep. and just explaining how to do it and why this is important and how the, the Nikon wireless system worked and all this stuff. And I was bet, I think, I think I bought three speed lights after. <laughs> oh, yeah, <laughs> just three. I bought way more than just... that. <laughs> but, and, and the thing is, for those of you that have watched the show before, you've probably always seen the, the various cameras behind me. Most of that is, is Nikon gear that, um, most of it's heirlooms now, but yeah, Joe was a huge, huge hero, a huge influence in my career. Um, mostly, 
mostly a huge influence on my bank balance as <laughs> as I bought more and more speedlights and more and more Nikon gear. But uh, yeah. Nikon, Nikon, yeah. Nikon, depending on where you're viewing from. Um, potato, so potato. lovely, uh, lovely to hear, Joe. And it doesn't start doesn't stop there. Um, we could we could probably go all night with these. So I better start showing some of them before we run out of time. But uh, yeah. delighted to see this next message coming from. Uh, from someone who I truly have admired for many, many years, and I'm delighted that both Smug Mug and Flickr and Twip have have a real uh, strong relationship with, with this next message. So uh, let's okay. roll that one. Hey, everyone. Pete Daring from Peak Design here. Frederick Van Johnson joining forces with Smug Mug. Good news for the world of photography. Can't wait to see what comes in the new programming. Two of the best companies getting together. Gotta love that. We'll see you around. The wonderful Whoa. Peter Daring. Yeah. Wow. Um, so cool. Peter, to... he's a, the, the master of the, uh, the Kickstarter campaign and bag building and straps and now all this mobile stuff. Yeah. What, a, what an honor, man. Yeah. And if you're in San, if you're in San Francisco, it makes you, you know, hit up their, uh, their store. I was in there a couple of weeks ago in the Peak Design store. Yeah. Yeah, it's a it's a beautiful store. Yeah, def yeah, definitely been in there here. a few times. It's great. And funnily enough, I started my career here at Smug Mug just as Peter did his first Kickstarter um, with the, the original clip. Uh, and yeah. many, many of us at Smug Mug um, and Smug Mug itself helped support that that Kickstarter and give it some love. And since then, we've had a, a wonderful relationship with the whole team at Peak Design. Some of the fun, most fun moments I've had has been hanging out with the Peak Design crew. So yeah, it's it's, it's really fun Absolutely. to see them. Absolutely. Um, yeah, what right, an I'm honor. Go, what an I'm honor. Go, to... I'm gonna roll, I'm gonna keep rolling. There's, there's more to come. Yeah. Prepare yourself. Keep going. Frederick, I just heard the news. Congratulations on the acquisition. Um, you already do amazing work and I'm just so excited that your work will be seen on even a larger scale. So congrats, this is your friend, Nikki Sun, and I'll see you soon. That's awesome. Oh, wonderful, Nikki. So Nikki. I think Nikki was, uh, was she one of your last episodes on, on the podcast? I think very recently. Yeah. Right? Yeah. We had a really good conversation. Uh, Nikki is just like this ball of talent and power and enthusiasm and knowledge, you know, all bundled up, you know, she's a, what's the best way to describe her? She's a content creator, you know, mm -hmm. she, she calls herself content creator, which I think is appropriate. She's also a host. Um, she was a host at NAB, the last NAB. She was on stage there doing the MC thing. So, it, so what an honor to have her kind of chime in and chat about it. We, when Nikki, like if you listen to that last episode of This Week in Photo, Nikki and I had this conversation, these conversations that meander all over the place but stay within the bounds of tech and nerdiness. <laughs> it's, just, it's amazing. So yeah, thank you, Nikki. That's amazing. Yeah, very cool. I'm, I'm, you folk will see me looking off screen here is because I'm keeping an eye on the, on the chat, but I guess we should, we should let people know those that haven't seen Twit before, um, you know, where they can go to, to see these podcasts. So yeah, if we're at twip.com, is that the right place to go? Or is it this week in photo.com? Yeah, I couldn't get that one. Yeah, this, <laughs> this week, <laughs> this week in photo .com. Yeah, it's all in the name. Yeah, if you head over to this week in photo .com, you'll see the, the website was shown here. You can see uh, Frederick's latest announcement about uh, you know, the acquisition with Smug Mug. Uh, and then you can see the last episode there with Tech Nikki, with Nikki's son. Uh, lots of lots of things in there. You have the community over there as well. You have your own mm -hmm. community within um, within TWIP itself. Um, lots of photo critiques, something I'm excited about because we've been doing various photo critiques over the last couple of years on Smug Mug Live, with, uh, especially yeah. with the Flickr audience. Um, so yeah, I'm looking forward to getting involved in, in some of this with you, so. Yeah, no, absolutely. We've got some big plans around kind of blowing up that photo critique area, mm -hmm. you know, and making it into, you know, basically taking it to the next level. I got to give credit to one of the the folks that are in the chat here. Spicy Jello, Troy Miller mm -hmm. is in there. He's one of the one of the driving forces that uh, that suggested I start doing critiques, which have been amazing so far. I mean, he's a co-host with me when we do those critiques and we've done I think we passed 200 uh recently 200 wow. episodes of these critiques of a weekly these are weekly too so do the math so troy thank you for all your help on those and yeah good big things to come with that 
Yeah, and with with Troy, who's who's waving in the chat, um, we need to obviously have a conversation around why his handle is called Spicy Jello. We'll leave that for another day. <laughs> but it's funny you should mention Troy because check this out. Hey, Frederick, my friend, super big congratulations on the acquisition. I mean, what? There is no better trio than than Smug Mug, Twip. Flicker or Twip, Smug Mug and Flicker or Flicker, Smug Mug, Twip. Like, doesn't matter how you put it. It's a great, it's a great thing. And I'm very, very, very happy for you. So congratulations. And I look forward to some amazing content in the future. Um, I did write you a song. No, I didn't. I didn't write you anything. So um, again, congratulations, buddy. That was, uh, that was a <laughs> lovely segue that you mentioned, Troy, there. And we can, we could bring that video. We up. need that song. I need that song. Whatever it was. Yeah. <laughs> Troy, write the theme tune. Sing the theme tune. Like There you on. go. Yeah. Yeah. Make it kind of like the Friends theme song from the show Friends. You know, that should be our new <laughs> our new theme song. Absolutely. Right. Let's let's look at the chat here. Um let's see what folk are saying. Um Mike. Stool says, well, this has made my day. I've been a Smug Mug user and a Twip member for years, and this is terrific news. Terrific for us, Mike. Thank you for, for saying that. That's that's why we do it. We want to make people happy. We want to inspire our customers and our community. So thank you for leaving that comment. Um, Christopher Berry. Hi, Christopher. Says, Chris. this is so awesome. I'm so glad you're going this direction. Meeting you at WPPI 2016 after enjoying Twip for a while stepped up my excitement for photography there you go inspired christopher and that's what we want to do we awesome. want to use um you know the the community the connections the stories we can tell to inspire people and motivate them uh to do great work so thank you for leaving those comments um yeah let's see and just for the record chris berry you inspire me too man you built that he's in arizona uh, and he built up a studio in his house. He's, he sells real estate, but you know, his photography is beyond a reproach and he's just, he's just an amazing photographer and a human, you know, behind it all. So Chris, thank you. Thank you for those kind words. I do doing this has learned heaps from Twit before and after joining the the critiques are incredibly useful and entertaining. Yeah. I love critiquing. Critiquing is one of yeah. those. It's like an honor you have to look at people's images and, and give your opinion on them when people give you the permission to do that. Um, but so many people can learn from that. Um, so yeah, thank yeah. you for, for saying that. Um, right, you ready for some more? Yeah, yeah, just one, before you roll the next one, the one thing on critiques, the way that we approach them is, and, and this has ebbed and flowed over the years, and you've probably seen this too, because anyone, opinions are, you know, they're subjective, right? 100% subjective. So the way that we approach these is we know a fair amount when I say we uh, spicy jello and I Troy Miller, um, we know a fair about a fair amount about photography, obviously, we've been in it for several decades. Um, but we approach it from a we're just looking at these images as a someone who knows about photography and is a peer of yours. Again, there's that peer word. So it's not a hey, I'm sitting on Mount Olympus and telling you, why your photography is good, bad, or ugly, right? We're just sitting next to you saying, hey, this is great, but consider do the, doing this next, or why did you do this? You know, those sorts of things. And I found that that tone and that vernacular are better than just being prescriptive and negative and overly critical of images, so. Yeah, and, and we saw Troy there um, reaching for his guitar and uh, Jefferson's in the house, a great guitarist himself, great had the pleasure of him serenading me several times and he says what is it about photographers and their guitars and it's it's true do you play guitar by any chance frederick i don't over you the don't? i've threatened yeah. i've threatened to because i want to if i do play guitar it's going to be i want to i want to do the uh the like uh blues you know whatever that you know that stuff i want to <laughs> write those kind of songs and play them and perform them it's Let's coming. Hope you can play it's better than you can sing it but um the <laughs> jeffrey's a great guitarist i play guitar troy plays guitar so many photographers i know play guitar i don't know like you say jefferson i don't know what it is about photographers and guitars but maybe we all just wanted to be rock stars i think that's maybe yeah. what it is um Michael says, yes, the critiques with Troy and Frederick are fantastic and have been very helpful and my personal photography with my personal photography. So there you go. Great comments. Awesome. Um, hey, Michael right. Let's uh, I'm going to roll another one. Speaking of Jefferson Graham, 
Frederick, this is Jefferson Graham. I just wanted to wish you a big congratulations to joining forces with Smug, Bug and Flickr. I am so proud of you. I am really floored by what you have pulled off bootstraps, doing it at, in, in your home and building this TWIP empire out of nothing, just from hard work and dedication. You're one of the great you know, success stories of somebody who wanted to do something and just did it. And I think this is fantastic. And I know we only have bigger things to come. Jefferson Graham, congratulations. Thank so you, Jefferson, nice. for Thanks, sending Jeff. that message. We really appreciate taking the time to do that. Um, yeah. And yeah, and we've started a whole guitar conversation in the chat. There are other people saying that <laughs> they've been inspired by it. Um, but yeah, I think Jefferson was on Smug Mug Live. I can't remember when. Sorry, Jefferson, but it was it was certainly probably about a year ago. Uh, and as we got to the end of the show, he he played us out, which was always always fun as he played us out. I so, love it. Uh, very yeah. good. Right, uh, I'm going to keep them wrong. We've got a few more left, so check this one out. What Twip's been acquired by Smug Mug? That's amazing recognition for all of the work you've done with Twip over the years. Congratulations, Frederick. Wow, Martin Wonderful. Bailey, Martin. one of my inspirations. Martin uh, has been podcasting, so Google Martin Bailey. Martin, this Martin Bailey Photography Podcast, I think. Um, but he's been podcasting since before I was podcasting. Mm. <laughs> so how long is that ago? How many rings on that tree? But he was an inspiration for being consistent, you know, how to be on mic, publishing, tone, subjects, all that stuff. He's a, the, he literally is the OG he photography podcast. Literally yeah. the OG of podcasting, not just photography podcasting, but podcasting uh, in general. And yeah. I remember first coming across his podcast and thinking, oh, someone else based in the UK, this is great. And then you realize, no, no, he's in Japan. Somewhere, yeah. Right. So, yeah. The yeah. first, he was among the first two, the first two podcasts I ever put on my phone or back then was, I, I don't know. The first two I ever subscribed to were uh, Martin Bailey and Chris Marquardt. Remember mm. Chris Marquardt? Mm. Tips from the top floor? From, yeah. 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 That, those are the first two. Definitely OGs. Definitely OGs. Yep. Right. I've got a couple left for you. So check this one out. Hey, Frederick, your old buddy, Photo Joseph here. And I just wanted to say congratulations on this awesome step for TWIP. This is absolutely fantastic. I'm super happy for you, super proud of what you've achieved over there. And I wanted to remind you that I have been a part of TWIP in one way or another since before I was even known as Photo Joseph. And I think, I could be wrong here, but I think you might have had something to do with that name. I'll deny it if ever asked in public, but I think you did have something to do with that. It's great to see you, but I can't wait to be on your show again. It has been far too long. I'm looking forward to it. I'm looking forward to seeing what the future brings. Take care, my friend. Awesome. Love awesome. The message. So Jesse. there's an, there's another story that we need to hear probably another day, but, you know, coming up. Yeah. With, oh, with yeah. It's a good one. Of, it's a good yeah. one. Yeah. Fantastic. Now, the last video I'm going to play is by a very, very dear friend of ours, someone who's been on the show many, many times. Um, not just a great friend of Smug Mug, Twip, Flickr, but a dear personal friend. It's a very, very important message. Uh -oh. When you know who it is, you'll know why I have to tell everybody that there's a few F-bombs in this one, and that might give <laughs> oh, it I away who it of who this might be. So <laughs> if you're offended by F-bombs, you can mute just now, but here we go, a lovely message. Frederick and Smug Mug, congratulations. I'm fucking stoked. That is totally awesome. I can't wait to see what comes of this because it totally makes sense because Smug Mug is great and Twip is dope and the two coming together is gonna be like this fantastic fucking baby. So yeah, go the photography industry. We all totally win out of this. That's <laughs> awesome. The one and only Renee. Renee Robin being exactly the Renee that we all know and love. So thank you, Renee, for that message. Hope we get to catch up soon and thank you for the support you've shown Frederick and myself over the years but the the support you've shown for for this new uh, venture as we as we go forward so yeah Renee thank you we'll catch up soon love it thanks cool Renee. yeah and I saw that I saw that baby dancing in the background too you saw that little, <laughs> little baby dancing there um so yeah we're, we're gonna make beautiful babies apparently according to Renee, so. apparently apparently so <laughs> They'll be this bald awesome. babies, Thanks, obviously. Renee. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I got a little here. I don't know what you're talking I said, about. I said, you know, I have lots. I have lots. Um, that is, is all the messages I have. So no more surprises for you. But yeah, thank you. Okay. Um, 
Oh, this yeah. Thanks, everyone. This, this this is probably the most eloquent way I've heard it seen. Renee is the queen of colourful metaphors, for yes, sure. She is. For sure. Yes, she we, is. Wouldn't, we wouldn't want her any other way. So thank you for for those comments. So, um, so that's all the messages I have for you. At, at the moment, no more surprises for you. But thank you to everybody who sent uh, those lovely comments to Frederick and ourselves here at Smug Mug. And you know what can um, what can people expect in the future? That's probably been the most asked question this since we announced uh, the acquisition on Tuesday, and we kind of put out all our social messaging and emails and stuff. People are like, "Well, yep. what's happening? What's the, what's the big changes and stuff?" But you know, it's going to be a softly, softly approach, right? Yeah, yeah, it is. So really good questions. A lot of it's undefined. So I'm not going to say, hey, I have a blueprint of now through 2026, right? But the immediate thing that I wanted to get done, which I kind of allude to when I was speaking about this earlier, is a refresh of this week in photo, kind of not a, you know, not the not the whole, let's just burn it to the ground and rebuild it, but a refresh to, to modernize it. It's already kind of modern, you know, I just want to bring it I want to bring it up to the next level in terms of the the aesthetics of the show, the content of the show, the frequency of delivery, the delivery platforms, i.e., you know, being more aggressive on on the social channels, uh, doing more live streams, TikTok, all these all these things that I now have a little bit more bandwidth to devote time to. I want to start doing that, and then in the future. There's a lot of plans, you know, I can't, I don't want to foreshadow too much because a lot of this stuff is still kind of in the kiln. Um, but yeah, there'll be some significant changes. So this week in photo, obviously will continue on in perpetuity. Uh, the voice may, my sort of tone in terms of the voice may change on the show, be a little bit more, I don't know, transparent. You know, so as I as I push the show forward, but, you know, there are a bunch of other things that I want to do alongside TWIP that you'll start seeing popping up. So make sure you stay on, you know, either this list or watch this show or the TWIP show or get on the TWIP list or Smug Mug or the Flickr group, wherever you want to engage with us, get in there and you'll find out about all this stuff. Yeah, lots of PC. And it's a great moment to remind people to to hit that subscribe button. So wherever you if you're watching on uh, Smug Mug Live's YouTube channel, if you're watching on TWIP YouTube channel, then please hit that subscribe uh, button, hit that bell notification, that way you'll be notified whenever we do another episode of Smug Mug Live, there's another TWIP episode, and of course if you're joining us on any of our Facebook groups, then you know hit that like button to make sure you're kept up to date with the developments as they, as they come along, uh, so we really, really appreciate everybody tuning in today, it's been great to see you all in the chat, uh, asking us questions, giving us your support, talking amongst yourselves, which is always great. But uh, yeah, just a fun opportunity, Frederick, to, to do our first cross stream and uh, yeah. get to get to chat out the development. So I appreciate you giving us that insight and giving us the, the background and talking about the future. It's going to be fun. Yeah, it, it's going to be a blast. So, you know, strap in. We're going to we got some crazy stuff planned now that uh, I've got some nitroglycerin in the tank with Smug Mug and Flicker. So it should be should be fun. As they say, the future is so bright. I got to wear shades. That's <laughs> there you go. Pretty, Who said that? Like, oh, you Arena. Nice. Yeah, awesome. yeah, there you go. Uh, and uh, yeah, lots of great comments coming in. Levents is good luck in this new chapter. Yeah, it's a good way to look at it. It's a new chapter for for Twip, it is. Um, and we'll see we'll see how it develops. I'm I'm sure Frederick would love to hear people's thoughts and things that you know might be appropriate to do in the future. But uh, yeah, with the communities that we have together, it's going to be a lot of fun. That's for sure, and that's what we want to do: have fun, inspire, and and grow community. So thank you, everybody. Yeah. But Frederick, thank you so much for joining me today. Thank you for letting me stream to your twip audience as well as you talking to the audiences we have here but they're all our audiences now so um thank you yeah. everybody for tuning in and we'll see you on the next episode wherever you are in the world stay safe be kind look after each other frederick yeah. take care I'll speak to you soon buddy you too elster thanks everybody for coming we'll see you around thanks all take care bye with.